either it's either I'm like really sewing really hard or I'm tweaking about something about it like trying to figure out what's the next move or what we're gonna do to put something in place or something do something online I don't know it keeps me on my toes I feel like the stress is like is good for me some people probably wouldn't like that sometimes I don't like it but yeah definitely think about this shit a lot I see what you're saying. Can I get one yard of this? A lot of artists, they like look up to like fashion kids. Like it's crazy. Like it's like a it's like a change in the world right now. Like I feel like everybody wanted to be a rapper like two years ago, three years ago, and now like people are like really like wanting to be like clothes fashion yeah, people definitely. now. I mean shit, he put me on with literally everything. Like the second I saw him, he started helping me out. He was like really he was introducing me to all the people he knew. He was like taking me to events and shit yeah. and then doing the pop-ups and he was like really pushing the stuff that I was bringing. So like anything I would make, I would bring it to him. He'd be like, yeah, hard, like we could drop it. So we did a drop for these. Um, we did a blue drop and then we did a black and gray drop. So that was pretty fire. That's kind of how it started with Cole. I was making these and then I brought them to him. I brought the blue and the black one. And then we did our little undercover. That's fire. You know, our little undercover promo. And then we just started going crazy from there. Speak to him, Glock. Talk to him. Hi, I am Glock. He helped with all of us and then like, before I met Cole, I haven't been like, go crazy like I've been sewing for six years and then I worked with him for two years and I go cra I went crazy with him but like before that I, I just been doing stuff for free and stuff and then when I met Cole he made my chin worth like thousand and thousand I don't know he got like all the connection he put me on and Faze and Sean on everything and everyone that like pretty big I said like I think they're super big like Kid Cudi like with Kid Cudi I met his stylist I remember I did that shit with Tyga at a music video like a stylist hit me up and then a stylist that stylist hit up another stylist and yeah it's just kind of um being in the right place at the right time like I being real at least right now don't make like an extravagant amount of money every time that I drop something it's like we'll do something and it's expensive but it takes a long time it takes a lot of work or just kind of Moving like that, but hopefully this year it's different. Yeah. Life is uh, about distressing and de-stressing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like D-I-S stressing and then D-E stressing, but that's corny as fuck. That might be too corny for the fucking, <laughs> might be too corny for the thing. Okay. Fuck, I forgot that parking at this dude Liam's crib is such a hassle. <laughs> I gotta park somewhere else. I mean, it's up to you. You should just park there, though, and then walk over. Like so I should not park at Whole Foods? Uh, no, Whole Foods nah, is free. If there's, a meter, if there's a meter, you're good. Keep your mouth shut and observe as much as humanly possible. I, coming up to being where I'm at today, I talked way too much. People be talking about things that they're gonna do, talking about things that they have done, talking about stuff that they have. If you just keep that shit to yourself, a lot better things will come your way. It just like took quitting my job, really. It took quitting my job and seeing that I could do it on my own and then I, I realized it don't matter what my parents are saying no more. Where'd you work before this again? Out back. Outback Steakhouse. Outback Steakhouse. And before that, I worked at TJ Maxx. Yeah, Cole, I, I don't think there's anybody right now who's like more savvy than Cole when it comes to like making shit go. Like, for real. Like, and I feel like both of us are still super like under the surface, especially me. Like, I don't really do any of that. So it's, it's, it's fun to see Cole like do his thing. You need to really take your time, first off. That is completely the advice is taking your time you need to work on yourself to be a person that you think that people want to see wearing something or have a style that people look up to and that's established because that's what people will connect with the brand that you're making if they think that you dress like shit they're not going to wear the clothes that you want to wear so that's why it takes time you kind of have to just be not scared to be doing things putting on new things trying new things taking pictures in different ways like the way that you present this stuff to the world is so, 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 so important. I remember Virgil was talking about like um, a crumpled up piece of paper over sitting in the garbage. Well, 
when it's sitting in the garbage, it's worth nothing because of the background that it's in. It's worth nothing. But if you put that crumpled up piece of paper in a glass dome with like lights looking nice in like an art museum, it could be worth something now because it's in there looking in the position that you want it to look like, I guess you could say. So that is what is really, 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 really important is the way that you present it, the image, the aesthetic that you're building, the stuff that you're making is almost like secondary to that. But like I was saying before, if, if someone's DMing me and they'll send me like some ripped up pants or like a t-shirt that they, that they saw there that they printed on, if it's not something that I can look at right away and I can tell that that's your brand or I can tell that this is something, I don't know, innovative or new. If you're not thinking that right away, how am I gonna think that or how is a consumer gonna think that? It just needs to, it's very hard to give perfect advice. There's just no right or wrong way to do this, but you have to just take your time. It takes so long. It took me years and years and years to think that I was confident enough to be able to do something like this. When I first started dropping the masks, I was giving them to artists um, like, like Maddox, Uno, uh, Tr Tracy, Trippy Red, um, there was so many. There was so many. Dripping so pretty. Uh, Ty Fontaine. There was just a bunch, but just just that type of shit. Associating it with people that people already like is so 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 important. Bye, Liam. Fuck it, I'll do Chick Fil A. When I did that Tyga video, that was the first time I ever did like a like a kind of like a video that was probably a high budget and I had no idea what I was doing. I never did anything like that. I was kind of just like kicking it, but it was sick like just being we we're at this like huge ass mansion and they had um they had like snacks and tacos and food and shit, so I was definitely eating. I definitely like brought like a fat bag of clothes in there and it was just, I don't know, that was like definitely like eye-opening to how cool LA was. I remember I was taking the pictures just like thinking to myself like, like young high school me seeing these pictures of what I'm doing like would just be like shocked that I was in a place like this in this huge ass mansion. And when, when Tyga came in, Tyga was like late as hell when he came in, he's like, where's Cole? Like he like knew me by name and like everything that was just kind of, that was kind of nuts, but. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was through um, a, a stylist that fucked with me in the Sick Boy Archive. That's like a huge archive. Victor's my my good friend that runs that. Uh, yeah, he knew the stylist. The stylist sent me up. They they were doing the shoot in L.A. With, but Victor lives in New York, so he like sent some stuff. But I kind of got like the good end of that deal because she was able to come look through all my clothes, grab what she thinks the cut he would like, and then whatever cut he ended up using, he'd just buy for basically whatever I said. And I wasn't like super taxing, but I made money on everything that I sold, so that was nice. He kind of like used a lot of my stuff. So that was fire. That was like, that was sick because he's from Cleveland. He's like from the same place as me. I don't know how much that was vocalized to him, but uh, that was pretty damn crazy. People in Cleveland sure as hell thought that shit was crazy. When you, when you go. About to get a sandwich and nugs. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn, bro, it's chick time. Or are you gonna I'm gonna just hit it. I'm gonna just apply this. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming Chick Fil A sauce on the one bun and Ketchup barbecue, on barbecue on the other. Gotta be more gentle than that. Yeah, I feel like I fucked up really bad. Dude, you're not gentle. Enough. I could have done that way better. My back is fucked. <sighs> I want y'all to meet these people upstairs. Pretty good. Pretty good guys, pretty important guys. That's what Pat started. Yeah. So, yeah. I think so, it all started through Instagram. We all met bro through Instagram. I follow him like long ass time ago. When I was in high school, I was like, this guy crazy, he got all the drip. So we went from doing pop-ups like literally out the back of his <laughs> fucking Jeep. And, in the Ralph's fucking parking yeah, lot. Yeah, in the Ralph's parking lot. And like, we made enough money, so we were like, oh, let's go to New York. We went to New York, and then we sold out of a fucking Dodge Charger. And in New York, it didn't go as well as in LA, but a year later, we ended up back in New York and we sold like wet, like really well. So. Yeah, this is what Bobo Jean was next to my like. Cousin. Cole's the, Cole's the greatest crazy. marketer of all time. Cole, that's like, like let's just be real. That's he's fucking amazing at that. You have to be fucking funny and shit. And people also love if you're like doing something that they have to like question, like if it's like. If you're being real or not, or if you, I don't know, like I'd be joking. Instagram is a big ass joke app. 
It depends on the size, but like, like both of these like over five, six k. Yeah. I I don't even want to sell them. I'm just gonna hold them. Maybe someday someone will pay like ten k. Wrath. Being more Balenci. Rick. This bitch is hard. I just wore this recently with the sideways bricks. Rick. What else? JPG. I wear hella JPG. Rick. Undercover. Yeah. Dolce, fuck with this heavy. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a bank account for real. Over twenty, mm -hmm. bro. You got twenty sitting on this table. I know. I feel like it's <laughs> more than that. I don't know. Ultimate career goals um, is uh, making sure that I have like so much money that I don't even need to think of anything bad. I want to be able to like do stuff that people from back where I'm from in Cleveland like never think is possible. Like just, I don't know, it's, it's pretty damn easy to impress those type of people, I'm not gonna lie. I can just imagine like coming back to Cleveland, like so much different someday, like like driving some type of nice car, some type of anything, helping my parents, helping all these guys. Like, I don't know, just just having a lot of money somehow. If that, if that even means like doing more things than just this brand, like so be it, if it's like other connections doing something else that I can just be a part of and still run the brand that'll help the brand I'm just down to do anything I've been gave up on everything else but this shit years ago so yeah That's a wrap.